Good day to you. It is I, Justin Hawkins. Um, this morning, before I, I had even awakened, uh, my phone was ringing, and I didn't pick it up, but it turned out to be somebody from a UK radio station that were inviting me to comment on Meatloaf, because unfortunately, uh, Meatloaf has passed away. I don't know anything about the, the details of his death or anything, but uh, obviously it's a big deal, isn't it? I mean, it's like, this guy's irreplaceable. Um, I've actually known him for not the last 19 years, and uh, he took us on tour in mainland Europe, um, so The Darkness was his support group for a while. Um, and um, so I remember we played a lot of shows in Germany. That was probably the first time we'd ever done that. Um, and watching his show and seeing all the histrionics and all the drama, everything was completely over the top. It was utterly awesome. Lots of dabbing of the forehead and trembling. And it was, you know, every night it was amazing. And, uh, and I remember uh, the, all the histrionics and drama and that was just happening backstage as well. And just to be part of his touring party and just to see all this stuff unfolding, it was a real eye-opener. And I don't think we've ever experienced anything quite like it since because you couldn't tell where the show stopped and real life began, how much of it was the character. And you know what I mean? Like it was just... It was awesome, actually. It was really... He was uh, a legit and authentic artist, I think. And despite how insane it feels to say that about Meatloaf, I think it's true. Um, anyway, there was one night when he put his arm around me like this and he leaned in and he said, I want you to think of me as your father. And then held me tight. And, there, and I've got this... Um, I've got this sort of conditional memory where every time I think about meatloaf, I can smell the sage on his breath in that moment because, you know, obviously it being Germany, I think he'd sampled some of the local, you know, meat products and probably had a sausage that had sage in it. And I could really smell it. I still smell it now. Um, a few years later, um, meatloaf asked me to go and join him with, um, with his writing camp for an, an album that he was doing. Um, so I went to America and I spent most of a summer there. Um, it was, and I met people like Rob Cavallo, the producer, Eric Nelly from Foxy Shazam, Tim Pierce, the legendary guitar player. I managed to write songs with Meatloaf and play a bit of guitar on it in places. And it was just an amazing experience and a, and a, a really cool, really cool opportunity. And it, and it opened a lot of doors for me. I and I will always be grateful to him for that. Um, so, it's a sad day, isn't it? And I and I um, hope you'll join me in uh, wishing Meatloaf for a safe transition. Rest in peace. Sleep well, my friend. And I'll see you on the other side. Lots of love and um, adieu.